Today on Aged, we play with wines. Welcome to Aged. Today we're going to be oak aging both a Chardonnay and a Merlot for a variable amount of time, taste testing in between just to see how things are coming along. Um, if you're following along at home, if you have the aged recipe book from oakbottle.com, you can check it out. It's on page 11, oak aged Chardonnay. Uh, really simple to do, and the, the method is just literally you're pouring, so you're not making cocktails, you're not doing anything crazy, um, and that's really it. So for this, I'm going to use Ravenswood Chardonnay, California, 19, yeah, 19, 2013. All you're going to do is pour the entire contents into here. So I'm going to do them both at the same time, and I'll take that one out at the four-hour mark. And this one I'll leave in longer. Here we go. Oh, also I chilled these a little bit because that's just what you do with whites. This is at a, a cool basement temperature. There you go. Both are ready to go. Now all we have to do is wait. So let's come back in four hours and see what's going on. Okay, so four hours later, let's we'll save the reds because this is just we're gonna tap into this one. What I suggest doing for this is if you're at home and you're looking for the best flavor that you can get out of a specific white or specific red is to test it every now and then. So take your oak bottle, put it someplace like on your path between the kitchen and the living room so that you can see it and every now and then you can just take a little test. So we're just gonna take a little off the top, and a little bit more. Give it a sniff, give it a taste, and see how it's progressing. Let's also taste it against one that you've chilled but you haven't done any type of aging to. Unaged has like a sour fruit smell to it. Now this is the Ravenswood, I believe I paid uh, under $12 for it, maybe $8, or something like that, um, at the New Hampshire liquor store. It's kind of light. It has a dry tart tart flavor. Definitely has a lot of, a lot of acid going on and, a, and a, a little bit more of a sour flavor. The, the scent of the oak aged one is a little bit more diminished, a little bit more muted, a little more uh, flowery aroma almost. It's calm, mellow, has a little bit of a creamy texture like in the mouthfeel, the acid is definitely cut back. Not not the same, it's, it does still have a nice presented tartness. I think that creaminess is tricking your palate into thinking ah, it's not as dry tart as it is creamy and silky. So let's see what happens if we wait for the six hour mark. While we're at the four hour mark, let's test our red. Bogle Vineyards, California Merlot, uh, vintage is 2014, and that is unoaked. Here's a four hour oak of the red. Let's try this red. It has like a little smoky bacon. Super dry, like a, a blackberry flavor component to it. This is the four hours in oak. Actually the, the oak version, and this might have something to do with just the, the pure oxygen as well, is it doesn't have the same boozy factor. Like this has a little bit more of an alcohol play going on within the, the aroma. This one, not so much. It actually has presents itself a little bit more of a blackcurrant or raspberry or, or something in that area. Uh, where the Chardonnay had the creamy texture, where it was more of a texture, not a flavor. Uh, with the with the red, I get a little bit more of an oaky flavor. Not too much, which is nice, because an over-oaked flavor can, it can just dominate everything. This does bring a little bit of that creaminess, almost like a creamy raspberry, uh, blackcurrants, a lot of dark berry flavor, and it still keeps a, f a lingering dryness. Uh, it brings it up, you know, probably five, six dollars in, in flavor profile because you're getting a little bit more of the, you're getting a little bit more of a fruit flavor to it. You're getting probably something closer to what the vineyard, the, the terroir of the vineyard, where this as it is here, it can give you that, but there's also a little bit more striking tart bite to it. The the hint of, of some berries, but it's, it's just a, it's a slight aggressive nature to it and it does still have like a little bit more it has been sitting here a little bit more of like a, a smoky bacon not as much as say some of the Spanish Tempranillos I've had uh, but there is a just a little hint of a little smoky bacon so if you like your red what you want to do now is hold it in stasis you want to be able to get keep that oak flavor the way it is right now without over aging it or over oaking it take your red and put it back in the bottle you poured it from to begin with I'd say two to three days it's gonna get a little softer, a little more mellow as the days go on. For me, because I'm I'm the only red wine drinker in the house, for me to finish a bottle of red wine usually takes about five, five to six days. 
um, and it gets softer and softer and, and not nearly as as fun on the last few days, I still finish it. Okay, at hour six, let's give this a taste. It's definitely picked up a little more light, sweet apple, almost like a like a warming cider flavor, um, but yet it still contains that creamy note. Let's wait eight hours, then we'll see what the final outcome is. All right, let's give it our final eight hour flavor taste. The acidity is almost like that of like an apple juice. There is a little bit of the residual in the back end, a little bit of residual acid structure, which I think is, is important. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy on, on too long of an age for a wine because oxygen is always taking its toll and it's going to simmer it down a little bit, but you're gonna lose even more of the acid structure, I think, the longer you take. Almost like a little sweet pear. So it's like a pear, apple, it's kind of like a fruit salad of wine at this point. If you're gonna be having people over on a Friday night, throw it in your bottle in the morning, go to work, come home, get ready for party, pour it right out of the bottle. This you can use to condition for another spirit. So for instance, this has been holding Merlot for four hours. I could put it back in here or just, just over oak it for like two days or a day or 24 hours inside of the oak bottle, pour it back into the bottle. If it still tastes yummy, finish it, finish it anyway. Then you can add in another spirit like a tequila or a gin so that you can bring some of that Merlot property and that berry flavor to other spirits. Oak a bourbon in here for a week, take your bourbon out, then you can add in your red wine and get yourself an oak aged bourbon red wine. Or you could do something like I would do, which is to fill this up with sherry, leave the sherry in there, sherry cast condition your next bottle of spiced rum. Put your spiced rum in there and you can get your own Captain Morgan sherry cask style flavor. The options are really endless. So what I suggest you do is head over to oakbottle.com, pick yourself up an oak bottle, grab the aged book, and start experimenting today. That, my friends, that's how you get aged.